the first part of this video is heap versus indexes we will learn difference between heap and indexes specifically in postgresql it's in a book whenever you read a book it in we call it is a heap and if you go at the end of that book you will see some kind of an indexes so what is that meaning of that indexes the heap is actually a book where you have all your contents and your index at the end of your books what it is it is it is a pointer to the actual heap so index contains the pointer of the heap so if you want to search some information so you don't need to read the whole book you go to the index at the end of your book and you can find the word and you can get the page number of that word and you can go open the heap the book and you can get your information so now an actual example with postgresql so heap when i would call heap heap mean table tables so rows or tuple store in the table when you insert some data so you insert rows and we call it tuples or rows so you can use any of them rows or tuples so every table in a postgresql has a physical disk file so that heap that table is stored in a physical disk file on so every table has its own physical file it can be one or it can be many so it depends size of the table so here we we have an example of table 4 where it has two columns id type integer name type text so i will creating that table create table 4 with two columns it will create a table for you so when you created a table it creates a new file for you so where is that file so we have some catalogs table called pg class pg class pg class is a table is a system table which contains the information about the table so it has a column name rel file node so you can select rel file node from pg class and you can add the qualification of the table foo so you will get a number rel file node a number and this is the actual file name stored on the disk that where where is that file you have a pg data directory if you see here it's file you can ls and you can see the file is present here so and it has a zero bytes why because it doesn't have any data because we have just created a table here so keep in mind the tuple stored in a table does not have any order so if you insert one rows two rows three rows and one delete and inserted another row it will not guarantee you that it will give you the ordered rows it can be unordered so so some more example here so uh, select whole table so what will happen when you select from the table and it will be a sequential scan like if you want to search something select something a uh, word or something from the table or something like that so you have to read the whole book for example if you want to read a whole book then you are reading that's a sequential so you are reading first page of the book second third fourth fifth sixth seventh similarly if you want to read the whole table then you will read the first row second row third row fourth row and you will read whole table so it's a sequential scan and then make sense so in this example i just explain select name from bar table and it's a sequential scan and it makes sense here so in a second example if you see explain select name from bar where id is 5432 so in this case i am not or we are not reading the whole table 
we were asking the table to give us the name from the bar table where id is equal to 5432 that's mean we don't want to read the whole book we want a particular information from the table but what happened here if you see sequential scan on bar forget about the parallel we will discuss in some other videos but just see it's again a sequential scan on bar that's wrong why in that case we are also reading the whole table to get the information where id is equal to 5432 that's wrong I mean if you want to search one word from the uh, book and you are reading the whole book to search for that word that's wrong so first example makes sense but the second one it doesn't make sense to read the whole table in case if you want to search some information so here is an example where i have some graphical information for you so i have a created a table with the two column integer and text and inserted one id and alex and two id with bob so two rows are there so i have selected some hidden columns from postgresql whenever you create a table it creates a hidden column for you it's a physical disk location of that row so it's ctid it's mean it's block number and the offset it has two values the first value which is zero in that case is a block number and one is the offset for the alex and for bob it's two offset is two so whenever we want to select data it and which contain the name alex it will start searching from all over the pages and we'll get the information that what what is the problem here the problem is the cost because to scan the whole table it's a costly operation that's here the indexes here come the indexes to reduce that cost so index are the entry point for the table index are the entry point of the table if you go for the example of book the end of the indexes indexes are the pointer words pointer word has the pointer of the page number is the pointer of the word in the book here index are the entry point for the table index used to locate the tuple in the table the sole reason to have an index is a performance and index has its own space it requires its own space that is drawback so if you have a many indexes on a table that means you require more space so you have to use carefully more storage required to store index along with the original table so here is the example explain select name from bar where id is equal to 5432 so here sequential scan is happened similarly this is the same example we have discussed earlier so now we have created an index create index bar idx on bar id and now we have a same query and you can see a bitmap he's can scan and on bar underscore idx with the name of the index is used and what happened if you see the cost one five nine two three five and six four three one three so you can see the cost is reduced significantly the cost of the query approximately 50 40 percent so if you want to subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell to receive all the notification on the future take the full course and pass the quiz in your google class to get a certificate just open google classroom and click join class enter the code for the class